Welcome back. So we've got Fortran installed and now the next step is to learn how to use Fortran. So all I'm going to do right now is just make a new file. Let me hang on a second. Let's navigate to this folder. Okay. Uh, so we're going to create a new file. This is how I create a new file. You can do it however you want. Uh, in fact, it's probably not how you make your files, but uh, just like open up a text editor and create a new file and then save it as uh, whatever you want. I'm going to name mine uh, tutorial one dot f o eight. Now I actually do not know what this is. The f o eight extension here means that we're going to be programming on Fortran two thousand eight. Now I've never actually programmed in Fortran two thousand eight. I learned Fortran ninety five, uh, so uh, I may actually get some things wrong, but I'm going to teach you to the best of my abilities because I don't think that Fortran has changed too, too much between Fortran 95 and Fortran 2008, believe it or not. So anyways, we're just going to open up this. Uh, I'm using your text editor. Mine happens to be this one called Vim. Uh, and we're going to create a program that looks something like this. Program, and, and I'm typing this in all caps because that's the Fortran convention to type parts of the language in all caps. Uh, program, and then the name of our program, which I'm just going to call hello program. And then leave some space for our code, which we'll be filling in later. And then type end program. Now there's a bug with this editor, so I'm going to close the file and reopen it, and now it's colored correctly before it's showing some weird colors. Okay, so now we have our template. And in type right up here, we're going to type this thing, which says implicit none. And right now, I'm just um, making this, I'm just putting this in here because it should be part of a habit, I guess. Uh, it's, well, I can't really explain it until after I've moved ahead with introducing variables. Um, so let's just leave it here, you know, for habit's sake, because you want to turn typing this into a habit or just create a template for yourself that includes that. But anyways, uh, so now comes the part where we say hello, or we get it to print hello world. Uh, this line is a command which calls the write command. Um, and all you do is just type write and then this thing, which looks kind of like an owl. But uh, it is just, it's, what it's, it's called a list. Uh, um, I'm actually not sure what to call it, but it's a list of um, operands to the write statement, and what it, it says is um, one of these is one of these asterisks is a slot for you to give Fortran information about the device to print to, and the other one is about what format you want to print it in. Uh, and by device, I just mean like you know. If you were using the write statement to send text to a printer, like a physical, you know, inkjet printer, then you would use that. You would use, I mean, you'd put something else here. Uh, or if you wanted to write your text to a file, or maybe to another computer, or to a server or something, then you would enter something special here. Uh, as for right now, we're just going to be typing an asterisk because that means the default, which is, uh, you know, standard output which is our console window, so it's going to be printing to our console window. And then the next uh, operand is the format. Now actually I might have these two mixed up. It might be that the first star is the format and the second one is the device. Sorry, I don't know for sure. But one of them is the device and one of them is the, print, or the um, format. So the format just means like if you're printing a number then you can have it formatted with a special number of digits or uh, certain alignment or something like that. But for text, we're just going to use the default, which I really don't know what the default is. It's probably just print whatever we typed. Uh, so we're just going to type hello world. Actually, I do know, but we'll see in a couple seconds. So we've typed hello world in quotes, and the quotes are important. I think it might be important that, OK, maybe not. Uh, you might be able to use single quotes as well. But I'm going to use double quotes, and we're just going to save it and uh, close it, which I've just done. 
Uh, and now we're going to type gfortran and then the name of our file and then a dash o and then something like um, executable. Now if you delete, leave out the o it'll actually be okay because it'll write to uh, the default output file is a.out. So now looking here we see there are two files one called executable and one called a.out as you can see here as well. The, the, they're just both the same thing. I was just showing you that you can specify a custom name to save it as or you can just leave out the dash o executable and it'll save it to a.out. So now we can run a.out. Now if we just do this it'll say hello world. Now if you just double click on a.out on your computer especially on Windows, uh, it may just open up a window for a fraction of a second and then close it. So you want to open up a console and then run the program from the console so it doesn't close out on you. So yeah, we just typed dot slash a dot out and hit enter and we got this, which is exactly what we were hoping for. So that concludes the first tutorial and um, stay tuned, we'll have more on the next tutorial.